Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Chew Tuesday. Coming at you with a little 2023, a little, a lot of 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball. Two hobby case break, 24 boxes, pick your team, 10. All card ship, it's a long break, so settle in and let's see what we got. Big thanks to this group right here for getting in on it on the 8th. Scott with Last Bot Mojo, that star next to your name. Thanks for finishing off the break. He's got some other teams too. Thanks everyone for getting in. Appreciate you. All right, and we're doing two hobby cases. Good luck. See that uh, if you read the small print right here, this is the MVP buyback program right there. What does it say? Reap the rewards of MVP performances. Click the QR code or go to tops.com slash promotions to find out more. Buyback program. Oh, no one's in this break, huh? It's just Duncan's just hanging out and watching. I know, I think I saw Michael Stapleton earlier today. Scott just closed out the break, so maybe Scott's around somewhere. I saw Dano here earlier today. Maybe got, maybe got some people listening in the background. Ah, nice. Good, two, two screen it. Two screen it, Scott. Thanks for getting in, man. I want to make sure we've got some witnesses, perhaps some greatness out of these cases. We'll find out. <laughs> got Dodgers at Diamondbacks on in the background. Kiki Hernandez double, scoring a run. They're up one nothing early in the game. Keep an eye on some scores throughout the evening. Now that the now that the uh, kind of crazy to think, but now that baseball games are a lot faster now due, due to all the rule changes. <coughs> Excuse me. kind of crazy to think that if a baseball game started and I started this dual case break that uh, a baseball game could be over before I finish a dual case break or shortly I might end shortly afterwards sort of a crazy thought All right, so remember Hobby, this is Hobby, so we're looking for one autograph per box on average. That is a Bryce Turang, 20 out of uh, 99. It'll be for the Brew Crew. Turang, Turang, Turang. Mark with the Brew Crew. Turang, Turang. <laughs> we got a Yoshida. We want to look out for guys like him, especially parallels. Refractors would be awesome. Stephen Carney. And there's our auto. First auto of the break. First of 24 is David Villar. Dano with the Giants.
And obviously we'll do an autograph recap at the end of the video, along with, uh, you know, along with any other highlights, maybe some out of 25s and under, some short prints, image variation, Sean Murphy to 75, Michael with the Braves, and a base Rushman. Obviously we're looking for bigger fish to fry, but those are the early starts right there for the top tier rookies. All right, Hobby One, box one of 24 in the books. Another one. Freddie Freeman already one for one. 342 batting average. Outside chance he might he might be an MVP. <clears throat> although he although Fott was able to strike out Freddie Freeman. He can't hit them all. All right, what do we got here? Some finals? It's a final in Cleveland. Guardians beat the Blue Jays 1-0. Ramon Laureano with a go-ahead double in his first at-bat with the Guardians. Royal has been playing pretty well. They win another one. They were on a six-game, six-seven-game winning streak, which was broken the other night, and now they won again. 9-3 in Boston on the road, too. Cubs with a road win, 3-2 over the Mets. Mike Tockman with a go-ahead homer for the Cubs. Cubs, are they going to win the division? Seems very unlikely at the beginning of the year. Very slow start. They only have 37 wins, the Royals. So it's, it's not been a good season for them. Joe loves the Cubs. No, I, I'm ambivalent about the Cubs. I just have to keep Rex in check, Duncan. Sometimes, sometimes he sits he sits there and has some wild thoughts about the Cubs. So I got I got to rein in, rein that in. Oliver, what's going on, man? Yeah, the Royals are quite young. They're they're definitely in a rebuild stage. And trying to put some pieces around Bobby Wood Jr., who's been he really... I mean, he's having a good season, but he's been having a really good couple weeks, I want to say. Braves beat the Pirates 8-6. to six. Astros edged out the Orioles 7-6. to six. Kyle Tucker's ninth inning grand slam, giving them the victory. Rays beat the Cardinals 4-2. Rays scoring 3 in the 8th to win. And Miggy passing Gwynn. Ties the out for 19th on the all-time hits list. Uh, Tiger shut out the Twins, 6 nothing. Box 2. And there's our autograph. There's the Braves, 158 out of 299. Jared Schuster. That is for Michael and the Braves. Nice purple uh, speckle. Save some Corbin Carrolls here. And we've got, nice, Jose Ramirez to 125, blue sonar. That's for Cleveland, that's gonna go to John. I finally uh, finally got around to watching the altercation that Jose Ramirez had with, uh, with Tim Anderson. Um, Tim Anderson squared up like he was a boxer <laughs> like he was gonna, that he he knew what he was doing, but I feel like Jose Ramirez kind of swung at him, maybe clipped his chin, and then next thing you know, Tim Anderson was flat on his back. So that was interesting. Both got suspended.
It seemed like an innocuous play. <laughs> he was like knocked out. It seemed pretty innocuous. I mean, Jose Ramirez slid in hard and, you know, Tim Anderson puts down a hard tag. I didn't think there was really much of it, much out of it. But it escalated really quickly. I thought there was, I mean, maybe there was something that happened, you know, beforehand. Maybe someone someone threw at somebody, but... Oh, you were they jawing the whole game? All right, that makes a little more sense. There he is. But it took a little little clip. I mean, I wish I could see it from a different angle, but it just really seemed like not all that much, and then they were on the ground. All right, so maybe the accumulation of other stuff, yeah, made that escalate. Quickly, but I don't know. Started looking good for. Uh, started looking good for Tim. I mean, Tim Anderson squared up, and I was like, oh, maybe he maybe he does like some boxing training in the off season, something like that. <laughs> no. Um, Jorge Soler hits a two-run go-ahead homer for the Marlins. Marlins beat the Reds 3-2. Uh, Phillies won the first game of the doubleheader 8-4. I think the second doubleheader is in progress. They're down a run. Games in progress is that Nationals-Phillies game. Top of the ninth, Nationals are up 5-4. Phillies still have a chance to get up to bat for the bottom of the ninth. Top of the ninth, Rockies and Brewers are tied at three. Yankees leading the White Sox 4-1, bottom of the seventh. Top of the third, Giants, Angels. Angels are up 4-0 early on. They were up early yesterday, too, I want to say, and their bullpen failed them. Let's see if they can hang on here. And the Dodgers leading the Diamondbacks 1-0. Julio Urias start today. Would like, love to see him... String some good starts together. That would make me feel better about the uh, about the playoffs here. Um, middle of the third, Padres manager scoreless. Top of the third, Rangers with an early one nothing lead on the A's in in Oakland. Does Tim Anderson have five inches height on uh, on Jose Ramirez? Yeah, he can't go down like that. It didn't seem like much of a. I mean, I feel like. Jose Ramirez was getting held back, and he kind of swiped at him a little bit. It wasn't even like a straight punch, you know? It just kind of swiped at him a little bit. And then Tim Anderson just went down very quickly. It was to, did, it, it, yeah, it looked like he was falling away, yeah. If we, we could break this down like the Zapruder film. But it seemed like, uh, it seemed like he was getting held back and falling away as he swiped. Maybe he's got reach. We have, we haven't, we haven't, uh, we haven't, I mean, do we, do we measure wingspan for baseball players? Then I guess, I guess clipped him in the chin maybe. Didn't seem like much. But <laughs> maybe he's on a round of 150. I wonder if, uh, if Tim Anderson maybe thought he was in a soccer game. And he thought, oh, if I take the dive, will Jose Ramirez be the one suspended? That's right, Jose Ramirez is a power hitter. Apparently, Ho Jose Ramirez sent an apology to Tim Anderson, but that was, uh, that was ignored. How do we know it's ignored? Was it on like Twitter and there was no response or did Jose Ramirez say that? I didn't get a response back. Right, like Glass Joe and Punch-Out, Grizzlebees, exactly. Here's a Aqua Lava, Shane Bieber to 199, the Biebs for Cleveland, that'll be for John.
And there's our autograph. Mastro Buoni, 96 out of 150. That's going to be for the Cubs, Ed P with the Cubbies. No response, all right. So maybe Tim Anderson did see it, but chose to not respond to it. Maybe he did ignore it. I don't know. Maybe he saw Jose Ramirez show up on the phone. He was like, eh. Corbin Carroll. I've not seen Corbin Carroll hit just yet in this game. All right, another box down. Another box. Oh, oh Carol flew out in the first. All right. Yeah, well, you know, it makes it makes an otherwise un that fight made an otherwise uninteresting White Sox Guardians game a little more interesting. Gives a little uh, spice. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Who knows how Jose Ramirez reach out? You know, ooh. Maybe, uh, maybe it was by Carrier Pigeon Rex, and Tim never got it. Tim Anderson may, may have never gotten it. James Allen with the Allen, nice. Julio Roder Julio Urias. Breezing through the first three innings. Inning one has often been an issue for Julio Urias. You Darvish was a lot like that too. For whatever reason, the first inning would always be the blow up inning and then would settle down after that. Very odd. I guess you are seeing the top of the lineup, but still. Could, could have been Pony Express, right? Now, I think that Gunnar Henderson could be a variation, a short print, a shorter print. Yeah, it says 173 on the bottom there. It is. 34 out of 50. Nice one for Kenny. Got the Orioles straight up. Caleb Williams already getting his own bobblehead? Dodger Stadium? Hmm. And there's our autograph, Drew Waters. I think hit a homer today. That's for DY and the Royals. We got David Villar, photo negative.
Here's Max Free taking it to the max to 399. Michael S with the Braves. Another box down. Another box to go. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the standings really quick. I feel like I haven't looked at the MLB standings in a while. Usually I could give it a number, maybe even a week before you even really recheck standings again. But I guess September, I'm gonna start to get to a daily standings watch, I feel like. We're getting there. Razors two games behind the Orioles in the AL East, so that AL East is still up for grabs. Twins up four and a half games on the Guardians. That, that, the Twins might be running away with that division. Or have, in a position two. They're six and four in their last ten. Guardians are three and seven in their last ten. In the AL West, Astros are two and a half behind the Rangers. Both are seven and three in their last ten. That's good. That could be a little interesting fight to the finish. The Mariners have been playing some hot baseball, though. They're still six and a half back, but they're eight and two in their last ten on a five-game winning streak. Angels, on the other hand, trying to break a seven-game winning streak. Mm, Seattle gets hot. That could be interesting. Uh, Braves are cruising in the NL East. I don't think the Phillies are going to catch them. They're probably in the wild card conversation. Um, Brewers have two teams hot on their trail. The Cubs, who are 6-4 and four in their last 10, are two games back. And the Reds, who have been on the reverse side of that streak, 3-7 and seven in their last 10, but they're still two games behind the Brewers. Brewers trying to hang on to that division. So they're four and six in their last 10. In the NL West, are the Giants gonna make things interesting in the NL West? It doesn't look like it. <clears throat> they're uh, four games behind the Dodgers. The Dodgers are looking pretty good. Seven and three in their last 10 games. I think the right-handed bat edition of uh, Rosario, Ahmed um, Rosario, and um, Kike Hernandez has definitely helped. James Outman has been heating up in the last month or so. He's just kind of really, things have been clicking again for him. He, went, he was on base five times yesterday. He went four for four, and then I think had a walk. Here's Cal Stevenson, rookie auto for the A's, John G. So that's good to have at the bottom of the line at those seven, eight, nine spots. They're looking pretty good for the Dodgers. Their offense is great. If they can get Julio Urias to, to put together some good starts and leading into the playoffs, that'd be awesome. Kershaw comes back on Thursday, I want to say. It was Varsho to 199. So if they can get that pitching staff in order, <clears throat> I think that's going to be good. It could be a Walker Bueller boost, um, which would be awesome. He might be an opener or a middle reliever, maybe even a closer. Shane McClanahan at 250. That's right, Jay. James Altman made no outs, man. Not an out man. On base man. Ooh, nice. Prism, Ronald Acuna Jr. For the Braves, Michael. If he wins MVP. Could be a nice little, uh, nice card for the buyback program. Although we were talking earlier that Freddie Freeman, he's a lot closer to Acuna numbers than we think. Although I think Acuna, 
Well, stolen bases may, uh, the fact that Acuna has 50 stolen bases, over 50 stolen bases may, may end up being the difference maker for him in the end. Man, yeah, Rays and McClanahan, brutal news. He's not going to pitch the rest of the year. I mean, it's surprising that the, that the Rays, I think, have lost every starting pitcher to the IL at some point or another this season from their opening day roster. Still 69 wins. Suppose that plus 149 run differential helps. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, McClanahan, I think, was already down with an injury, Duncan, earlier in the year, or maybe not too long ago. And then I think they, they officially announced today that he's likely not going to be pitching. They, they were hoping he would come back, but likely not. <clears throat> Won't pitch again in 2023. Drew Rasmussen went down. I think Shane Boz is down. So this, they've, got key, uh, they've got some key players starters that have gone down their offense have carried them for sure it's kind of like the Dodgers offense have carried them let's see how that uh and that's gonna be a tough one in the playoffs same with my Dodgers I mean that starting pitching is not elite so <clears throat> let's see if that gets exposed or not in the playoffs Glass now. What's what's Tyler doing here? Yeah, I think Kyle Glasnow just made a start on the thirty first. Does not made a start since. Is he injured too? Oh, hurt back? Yeah, see? So they're starting pitching. Starting pitching is kind of rough. Yeah, that Tommy John surgery is not as a... Uh, not the <clears throat> sort of death sentence it was in the, in the 70s to a player's career, but yeah, having those Tommy Johns is... No one, no one wants to see that. Although it looks like Bueller might come back sooner rather than later. Walker Bueller. Deej LeMayu to 75 for the Yankees. And there's your autograph. That is Steel Walker. 85 out of 299. Purple speckle autograph. Tiger. That's going to be for Larry. Rex St. Brewers Rockies. Oh, in extras now. Tied at three. Chance for the Cubs to gain a game if the Brewers lose tonight. Are we saving Freddie Freeman's? Is this a possible uh, possible MVP candidate? Jervon Gates, Dodgers might hold on to it just in case. Still a lot of time left, and that uh, <clears throat> that race is close enough where you might keep an eye on on uh, on how Ronald Acuna and Freddie Freeman do next two months of the season, the final two months of the season. Should I put a unit on I might have to. There's Mark Vientos at 399. Yep, they brought back the, uh, they brought back the MVP buyback program that they did last year with Aaron Judge and Goldschmidt, who are short prints in this current set, by the way. We haven't seen any yet, but... But yeah, they're doing it again. In fact, a little small print right there. If you go to tops.com slash promotions, right there, you can, you can learn more about that MVP buyback program. So that makes the uh, Dodgers and, makes the Dodgers and Braves gives gives them an extra boost in value because of that.
All right, halfway through the first case. <clears throat> Looking like we're on track time-wise. Yeah, we're 30 minutes in. Second half, another 30 minutes, hour for the first case. And then each half will be 30 minutes here for the second case, two hour break. And if I start slowing down towards, towards the end, which I absolutely might. Take a look at the wild card race. Yeah, race still have a chance to win the division, but they're also five games ahead. So they're comfortably in the number one wild card spot. Astros are a game and a half ahead. Blue Jays are in the third spot. Mariners are two and a half behind a wild card spot. So it looks like Rays, Astros, Blue Jays, Mariners in the mix. Red Sox and Yankees look like they're just a little too far away. Five games back. Angels, who have been two and eight in the seven game losing streak, has dropped them seven and a half games back of a wild card spot. Those teams pretty much have to start winning now. Right? Red Sox, Yankees, Angels. So they've got teams to leapfrog. They got to start winning now if they want a chance. Mariners looking pretty good. You know, after sort of a letdown season, they're starting to heat up again. And they've got a good chance to get into that third wild card spot. They need the Blue Jays to falter a little bit. Good for good for Rex. Rockies leading leading the Brewers by a run in extras. There's Bryce Johnson, <clears throat> 302 out of 499. Giants, Dano with San Francisco. So we got Ezekiel Tovar up to bat with bases loaded. He's in this set. Do something, Ezekiel. And then let's pull Ezekiel Tovar autograph or something. It's hashtag good for the hobby. Rosario to 399 for the Padres, John. Got a Volpe. For the Yankees, Jose. Got a Corbin Carroll. Got a Josh Young. Got an Acuna Jr. to show up the rest of the way. Got a photo negative John Gray for the Rangers. Looks like there was a pitching change in that Rockies game. Another box.
Did he walk him? Yeah, I think I walked. Bases loaded walk. Five three Rockies. Five balls in a row for, for Brewers' as Uribe. Starts off the current batter with another ball. Another ball. Looks like Ricky Vaughn. Just a bit outside. Ball four. Ball eight. Ball 12. James Altman. I'd love to see James Altman. He's been hitting. He's been getting on base. He's been taking walks. I would love to see a little bit of the power show up. Love Major League, Jay. What a, what a movie. Sequels, like most sequels, Especially for comedy, unnecessary. Switch sides thinking that the autograph would be over there, but now it's over here. Josh Lester. And it goes to Larry and the Tigers. Wow. Two walks in a row for this Uribe reliever for the Brewers. Eight straight balls. Ooh, a Shohei Refractor, nice. There's the first strike. There you go, Angels, Sean Maddock. First of many, I hope. Still got another case to go. Brandon Lau, photo negative. Yeah, I, yeah, four walks in a second. I can't believe that Uribe threw eight balls in a row. Brett Beatty, let's go. Let's go to the minors. He'll be fine, I think. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of these let, let's go inserts. Maybe they're shorter printed. Here's a base Otani for Sean Maddox. It's Francisco Alvarez. Francisco Alvarez for Fractor, even better. For the Mets, Scott... Well, it looks like the Rockies are going to win this one. And the Cubs might win the division, Jay. If you told me that a month and a half ago, two months ago, I would have said you're crazy. But that's baseball. Although it wouldn't surprise me to see the Cubs on fire in August and just go completely cold in September. It'd be cl classic Cubs maneuver. If it does come down to the last two series of the season, though, Rex, that would be pretty exciting. I mean, th those those are like playoff baseball feels when you have teams going out in the wire to try to make it into the playoffs.
Let's go, Mookie. 0 for 1 today. We've got a homer here. That Mookie Grand Slam the other day. Ooh. Picking up Tony Gonsolin. Love it. <clears throat> Yesterday? Yesterday. The days are blurring. Full count. You're probably right, Jay. None of those NL Central teams are gonna run away with that, right? They're not running away with the division. It is gonna come down to the wire. Mookie bets add some weight, ladies and gentlemen. I guess driveline, which some of you may be familiar with, driveline is like is like that baseball school or whatever training academy for pro ball players, like in Seattle, maybe somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. And for a while, it used to just be for pitchers, just to build up arm strength, build up, you know, ooh, nice Yankees, Jose. To build up, uh, you know, spin rate and all that sort of stuff and strength and blah, blah, blah. But in recent years, more and more hitters have been going there. They get, they get analyzed by this independent team and blah, 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 blah. And they looked at Mookie Betts and they said, hey, we're, you know, you're Mookie Betts. We like what you're doing here. And after their analysis, they're like, you know what? We'd love to see you gain a little weight. I think Mookie added some LBSs. And I think he's been given the directive by the Dodgers to just try to hit for power a little bit more. Which he has. At sacrifice to his average. But... But yeah, he's, uh, he's hitting for power a lot more. You know, if you have Freddie Freeman hitting behind you, you can be a little more aggressive, right? Here's a nice Aaron Judge for the Yankees. Nice variation. That is a number 173. Ooh, that was almost a homer by Mookie. Nice one. That's Jose with the Yankees. Nice one. Love the variations. Kent Washington. That's right, Jason. That's where it is. There's Cody Clemens, Rogers kid to 199, Aqua Lava. And they got a Scottsdale office, too. Yeah, reds do look like... That's why I thought they would... Nice. There you go, Mookie. That's a double. Yeah, nice job. There's Freddie Freeman. He's up next. Possible MV outside chance at an MVP. Dodgers, that's going to go to Gervon. But yeah, that's why I thought Reds would make moves, and, and, you know, just to sup just to support that young team. But maybe they just want to be a little more patient. They're like, we don't need to be aggressive there. Here's a Freddie Freeman to two ninety nine. Let's see what Freddie can do here. I say Freddie rips one down the right field line, double. Scoring Mookie bets. Ah, there you go. I think Jay's all saying, I think Driveline and Mookie working with weighted bats in the offseason too, increase that bat speed a little bit. Yeah, I think it's worked, Jay. His home run totals. Um, I mean, when's the last time he's had 30-plus homers in a season? I think it's been a minute or two. No, he actually had 35 last year. Oh, it is down the line, but the left field line. I said right field line. But I did call the double.
I guess he only had 23 home runs in 2021. But if he starts to consistently get get that 32, he's averaging 32 homers a season according to the 162 average. And there's Justin Steele. He's been having a nice season. Cubs, Ed P. So Jay saying the Red didn't want to pay the price in the seller's market. Sure, that's true. Minor league system is loaded and <laughs> coupled with a cheap owner. But they are positioned to be good for a while. Yeah, I thought they would do that. I thought they'd get a reliever. I thought they'd get a, get a starting pitcher. You know, I, I thought they'd be aggressive, but, you know, if you got a cheap owner, maybe cheap owner's thinking... Oh, nice, Will Smith. Ball with eyes. You know, you're just going to you just pay, you know, keep them under team control as long as possible. Maybe try to make a run. Rinse, repeat. That kind of sucks, though. Like, you know, the young kids put in all this work. You know, the, the inevitable rookie sort of swoon was probably going to happen. They got... You know, a couple of veteran players to kind of give them a boost or something like that. That would be nice. You know, do it for Joey Votto. You know, let's, let's, Joey Votto's, I don't know how many more years he has. Be awesome to see him in the playoffs. Le leading a bunch of youngsters. <laughs> surprised if he was not el <coughs> excuse me if he was not eligible for rookie of the year <coughs> the whole situation's got me choked up here um yeah i wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't eligible i feel like he started the season a little too late he might not be qualified might not be qualified oh he is eligible jay saying yeah he's cooled off considerably too since his hot, hot start. Yeah, I think Corbin Carroll's easily, you know, leading the way. It's Carlos Perez to 350. Magenta Speckle. We got a Tristan Casas Refractor. That's gonna go to Stephen Carney. Nice, another run for the Dodgers. Javier Baez and a printing plate. So Baez to 99, and that's a nice one too. Fernando Tatis Jr. Printing plate for John and the Padres. Nice. And you know what that means, John. John knows. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo. It's a good spot for him to sign it if you ever run into him. Got a Gunnar Henderson refractor. Corbin Carroll, speaking of. Ronald Acuna Jr., MVP favorite. So far. Now, poor Josh Young. 
uh, out for like six weeks, I think, with a fractured finger or something like that. He had a shot at rookie, at some rookie of the year votes. It was Jeter Downs for the Red Sox, 334 out of 499. Stephen Carney with Boston. Who's who's got the AL Rookie of the Year? Is that as clear yes. as the NL? I don't think it is. So Josh Young was the favorite, or at least according to this data, is the favorite plus one seventy five. Gunnar Henderson's behind him at plus 190. Yoshida's behind Gunnar at plus 225. Then it jumps to 25 to 1 with Hunter Brown, Volpe, Tanner Beebe, et cetera, et cetera. I don't think those guys are going to get close. <clears throat> Here's a nice Corbin Carroll prism for Sean Maddock and the Diamondbacks. Yeah, Masataka, Jay saying. Gunnar Henderson, maybe. But yeah, I don't, I don't I think Josh Young, that unfortunate injury, I don't think is gonna keep him in that in that race. Here's Giancarlo Stanton. Look at this top loader. Come on, top loader. There we go. That is three out of fifty. Nice authentic relic for the Yankees, Jose. Two more boxes to go. Let's take a quick look at how these guys are doing. In the last 15 games, Gunnar Henderson's hitting 242, four home runs, 10 RBIs, a stolen base, a 788 OPS, which is not bad. What about Yoshida? How's Yoshida doing in his last 15 games? Hitting 246, one home run, and what looks like a not as good of an OPS. 279 OBP, 351 slugging, seven something. About the spec, kind of similar actually. I don't know, that could be a race to watch. Your AL Rookie of the Year. Your, your team is not in danger of going to the playoffs. That could be something to keep an eye on for fun. That'd be good for the hobby, too, seeing a, seeing a nice battle. Nice wild pitch. Dodgers advance, Will Smith goes to third. Or pass ball. to grounds out, but Dodgers up 4 nothing. Nice.
We got a Bryce Harper green sonar, 94 out of 99. Phillies, that'll be for Mallory and the fighting Phils. And your autograph is an Orange Wave Auto, 15 out of 25, Michael Harris. Michael Stapleton with Michael Harris. There you go, Mikes. Nice one. Love that orange, it really pops. Little jaspy orange. Photo negative, Xander Bogarts, Padres edition. Showtime, Sean Maddock with the Angels. 12th and final box, one more case to go. I think I'm, it might be a little over an hour a case. I'll start picking things up a little bit here. I'll pick things up in the second case. Sometimes I get sidetracked, I wanna look up stats, I wanna... I need like a, I need like a producer to like look up stats for me, feed, feed info into, my, into an earpiece or something like that, like a broadcaster. Like, like how's, uh, how's Michael Harris, you know? How's he doing this season? HVAC, is football mix done tonight if you buy spots? Yeah, if you help sell it out, absolutely. We got time for it. We've got goes for every single break on the website. Eric, what's going on? What is this break? Did I put it on the schedule? Maybe I forgot to put it on the schedule. It's on the schedule. It's your dual case break. This is the 12th box of 24. You want to do some more? You want to break some more uh, top from baseball? <laughs> Never again. Got another case for you here if you want to yeah. rip that. Still in your yeah, still, we've got plenty. I think there's another green box of that in there, right? Yeah, there okay. Thanks, Eric. Yeah. Uh, techno what's the technology issue? You have a no iPhone? They've told us they are working on a desktop version and a Android version. It is in the works. It's been in the works. It's been in the works. They just need to finish it. Jermaine Palacios. When we had a meeting with them at the National a couple weeks ago, they said, uh, Detroit Larry, Detroit. they said, um, they said back then, a couple months? I don't have an iPhone either, but I do have an iPad. So I, I've been, uh, if, you have, if you happen to have that, you can definitely download that to your tablet and watch that way for now. Joe Ryan for the Twins, Dano, Magenta.
Uh, no, it's th it's through a the the you have to download the Fanatics Live app. Oh, you were on the iPad, you couldn't find it. You should be able to find it. I found it. Fanatics Live. It is currently on my iPad. Yeah, for some reason, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't need an iPhone. That was last week, probably. Yeah, I, I've had it since they released it on my iPad. It should be in the App Store. All right, case one in the books. Case two on the way. So yeah, it's been on there for a while. We'll do an autograph, another special card recap, and end. and case two. You're out of the zone. Is there a zone? Are you really out of it? Is there really a zone? Oh, what a catch. Is that David Peralta? Robbing the homers? Julio Urias got a smile on his face? I never see him smile during a game. Wow, I mean, if Acuna Jr. is out for any extended period of time, Grizzlebees, and yeah, Freeman might get that, might take the edge on that MVP race. Ooh, timed it perfectly right over the yellow stripe in the outfield. David Peralta climbing the ladder. Julio Urias, tip of the cap. He loves it. Preserving the shutout. Man, yeah, are we... Are we setting, are we sleeving the Freemans instead of the Cunha Juniors now? Man, it's, it's changing on a night-to-night -night basis. All right, first box, second case. Another hour to go. Good luck, everybody. If you're just joining us, this is the 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball. Dual hobby case break, 24 boxes, pick your team 10 on a Tuesday. There will be a recap at the end, so keep an eye on that. Yeah, are we just walled and chucking the Acunas out of here, sleeving up the Freemans? That'll be a fun race to watch. A real fun race to watch. This guy's having, there's no doubt about Otani as the AL MVP. Sean Matt. I know, Duncan, you're right. Shouldn't got should have gotten those uh should have gotten those units in. Luis Arias. To 350, probably your your batting title winner. Your probable now that Josh Young's out for a little while, maybe Gunnar Henderson's your favorite for the AL Rookie of the Year award. Adley Rushman Refractor, nice. Orioles, Kenny. Oh, 
Although, Duncan, they may not move the markets until the news on Acuna Jr. is more clear. Maybe we should jump in on that. Freddie Fermin, unless they take it off the board. D.Y. with the Royals. And we'll never be rolling for Justin Verlander, Yan uh, Yankees. Mets edition to 99, Green Wave. Riley Green Refractor, Tigers, Larry. There are some base Riley Greens in there, but and that's the kind of stuff I was looking for, the refractors. All right, box one of the second case. Next up, you know, all these boxes that I've ripped open for 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball, Nick pointed something out that I didn't even realize. This is double Adley Rushman on the box. I just assumed the other player was like Mountcastle or Henderson or something like that. No, it's double Adley Rushman. It's the whole box. Do you think the family's collecting boxes of 2023 Top Grown? Adley on the box. Maybe uh, Adley's sister is buying cases of this, storing it in her closet. <laughs> yeah, the long chapter in Verlander's upcoming autobiography. My three months as a Met. I'm sure you could write a lot about that, actually. All right, I was talking up James Allen, and then he crowns out. Yeah, she's she's uh, she's easy on the eyes, Crystal Beast. I mean, Adley's a good-looking kid, too. What do their parents look like? Are their parents like supermodels? Yeah. What, what's, the, what's the Adley Rushman contract going to look like? I mean, a catcher who's hitting 273, over 1,000 OPS, 15 home runs, 55 RBIs, hitting over 300 the last week. You know, a catcher that can provide that. Not too many catchers like that. Now, 800 OPS, my bad. 800 OPS, you know, 19 doubles. You know, you could probably, with that bat, you can, and he calls a good game, too, from what I understand. Nice Otani prism. I think he calls a good game, too. He's a good defensive catcher, number one overall pick, all that sort of stuff. The pedigree, the hitting, the... The bat, the maturity, you can easily slide him off of catcher, you know, in the middle of a 12-year contract that Grizzlebees is suggesting, you know, slide him into that DH role with that bat of his. Here's Elio Hernandez, 44 out of 150, blue Ray Wave for the Rangers. That's going to go to Matt Bristow. You know, and with the way... You know, and with the way uh, a nice Acuna Jr. refractor, and with the way contracts are going up every every other year, you know, that is going to be a giant contract. 
With Josh Young out, Yoshida's got a good chance at Rookie of the Year as well, Stephen Carney. Oh, Justin Verlander was at the restaurant that you worked at last night. Nice. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good that's a good fit. Back of the Astros. Here's Max Meyer to 150 blue Miami Chris. Dude, yesterday's dodging game was wild. Yeah. Now, how do you like that Mookie Betts Grand Slam? Dude, I know. I actually called Ooh. it. I was getting my tattoo the other day. At the time. Ooh. Oh yeah. Vanessa this... was watching it. I'll turn it. Oh, that looked, turned, turned out real nice. Yeah, Vanessa was watching it too right there. And, Is that uh, a little color in there too? No, it's just my skin. Oh, it's, it's just yeah. Just because uh, it's fresh. It's pink, little. Yeah, I was like, oh, the movie's like a grand slam. And then I was like, oh, why are you saying that for? It's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you should have bet on it. For real. You should have been like, who's buying dinner next? Right. Look at this, Jaffe, six cases of hobby. <laughs> Four over there. Right, I got two. I got, I got two here. here. <laughs> Good luck sorting team. 77 out of 199, MJ Melendez. Uh, we were talking about yesterday, Eric Houston. Dodgers were down. Gonsolin had given up a bunch of runs, and then Dodgers had a big inning. And uh, there was a Mookie Betts grand slam yesterday that was, you know, clutch. And ended, up, ended up beating the Padres. All right, another box. put a movie in your fantasy lineup you don't do so well was he out of your lineup yesterday that's the worst you can't time those and you're like alright this guy's slumpy I won't put him in the lineup and then he hits right I do that too I'll do that with like some of my utility guys Brandon Marsh or like Mickey Moniac or something like that I guess Mickey Moniac's more but even with righties You know, I'll be like, man, he's slumping. I'll take him out of the line. Next thing you know, <laughs> he has a two-homer day. Then I put him in the next day and goes 0 for 5 with four strikeouts. What restaurant do you work at, Eric? Do you want to shout it out? East Coast, right, Eric? Somewhere? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're in Maryland, right. Well, you're in line to be Baltimore's first Michelin star? Nice. Never mo, that's right. We do have an alternate stream on Twitch. <laughs> which I, which we kind of use as a as a uh, as a backup in case the YouTube stream goes down or something weird happens. Is that the autograph? Should I start on this side? Well, if you're in the ball, oh, there's the autograph, man. I'm trying to slow play the auto, but David Villar wants to show himself. That's going to go to Dano and the Giants. What a what do we got in, uh, what do we got at Charleston? What, what should we get at Charleston if we're in Baltimore? You know, the National used to roll around to Baltimore, Eric Houston. That was, 
I don't think it's in the rotation. It hasn't been for a little bit. I don't think it's in the rotation anymore. But I've never been to Baltimore, and I'd like to go. And the National would be a good excuse for me to go. Here's Refractor Corbin Carroll, Sean Maddox. That would be a good excuse for me to go. A good excuse for me to maybe go to a ball game, see Cannon Yards, which looks beautiful from TV. Here's Verlander, 99. You know, maybe visit Charleston. Maybe the, there's an aquarium, right? I think I think uh, Baltimore has Baltimore has a nice aquarium that I that, could, that I could visit. Hmm. Uh, right, the Freddie Gray stuff, the Freddie Gray riots, the COVID, stupid COVID. Here's Bryce Harper to 99. That is a sh image variation. Nice. That is for the Phillies. Mallory with a fight in Phils. Nice. It's a cool one. The aquarium is very nice. There's Tyler Stevenson to 250. Ooh. I, that's not, I think Jason's pulled a couple. I have not seen any taco fractors. Yeah, that Harper's nice, right? We want tacos. We got a Volpe refractor for Jose and the Yankees. We want tacos. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't know why that emote came up, never more. Quote the Raven, speaking of Baltimore. Yeah, I know they're out of five. We did pull a red in a jumbo case the previous, uh, the other previous break ago, a couple breaks ago. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So if I could do that, maybe we're warming up to some tacos. Do, 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 do. I think the Lakers, I'm sure other basketball teams have this problem too. I think the Lakers were like, if the opponent scores under X amount of points during a Lakers game, uh, everyone gets Jack and Box tacos or something like that. And so towards the end of certain games, you'll hear the home team, the home crowd chanting, we want tacos. Who doesn't? Although I'm not a fan of the Jack and Box tacos. So the aquarium is not cheap enough. I gotta, I gotta check it out. I, I like the aquarium. California's got a great aquarium up north. Monterey, the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Check out some otters. Everyone see the story about the otter who is a commandeering surfboards in California? It's a pretty cute story. There you go, Julio Arias. Nice. It's good to see Julio Arias getting locked in. So it's a walk here for Julio Arias. I don't know that I. I don't know if the Dodgers are going to resign Julio Arias, ladies and gentlemen. I think I think that Julio Arias money is going to go to Hotani. And so if O, I mean, obviously if Otani signed, I don't think Urias is getting re-signed. The Dodgers could lose Urias if the Dodgers are waiting on Otani and then Urias gets picked up by someone else. Yeah, you think Topps did the Taco Fracks because going to be a Taco Bell promo during the playoffs? Well, Topps has been around for a while. That promo's been a while, around for a while. Why now, Rex?
There's Brian O'Keefe, 131 out of 499. Mariners, that'll be for Michael. Someone finally thought about it. A little too on the nose, isn't it? It would make more sense if, if Topps had like a partnership with Taco Bell, you know? Go to Taco Bell, get a pack of cards or something like that, if there's some sort of cross promotion, but short of that, I don't think that's the reason why they do things, Rex. I, I'm, I'm hoping to see Otani with the Dodge. I don't know, it's, 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 a, it's a mystery. It seems to be a foregone conclusion. A lot of people are just assuming that Otani's gonna go to the Dodgers, which makes me feel like then it's less likely to happen. If it's, if it's speaking of on the nose, if that's just too on the nose. It's Tyler Freeman to 99, green wave autograph, a green wave card that is for John and the Guardians. I don't know, somehow Artie Moreno Use his wizard, use the elder wand, and then, uh, you know, somehow convince Mike Trout to stay with the team. Current player hits a home run. Is it a home run? I thought it was steal a base, steal a taco. Isn't that the promo, or did they change it this year? Are they even doing it this year? I've heard people. I've heard people speculate that Taco Bell won't do it because uh, because stolen bases are up. They'd be giving away a ton of tacos. A lot more than they usually would. I don't think I've ever seen the home run version of that. That could be a local promo. I, I honestly, I mean, if there is, there could be a home run promo, I don't know for sure, but but the big Taco Bell promo that I know in the playoffs, or it's just in the World Series too, I think, isn't it? Or is it all the playoffs? Not remember, but it's steal a base, steal a taco is the promo. I don't think there's a home run one. Ah, so Scott's seen Duncan do something locally when X team wins by X amount of runs. You get something, a coffee? A, a, a pastry, maybe. All right, Oscar Gonzalez, magenta to three ninety nine. Got an Altman refractor. I was talking about Altman. I don't think he's been on base today. <laughs> Jervon with the Dodgers. And John with the Guardians. And Betts with a double play. Anyone, anyone else know of uh, their local team doing a fun promo? I think for the Dodgers is if you score, uh, if the Dodgers pitching staff, and there's Mark Appel, nice. Rookie auto for the Phillies, the 250. Good feel, good story there. I think for the Dodgers, it's if the pitching staff has 10 strikeouts, then with the purchase of a large drink at Jack in the Box, I think you get a Jumbo Jack. And then I mentioned the Lakers do, think of a team scores under, it used to, the number keeps going up every year. It used to be like under 100 points. Many years ago, it would be, you would get a free taco at Jack in the Box or something. Jack in the Box, spending a lot of money on 
promos here in LA, but that number creeped up to like 105, and I think it's like at 112 now. <laughs> And Scott was mentioning certain win by a certain number of runs. Dunkin' Donuts does something. Anyone else want to share their food-related promos for their local teams, their local professional teams? I think the Lakers also had... What else did they have? I think they would have, like... One year they did Papa John's. Another year they did Wingstop. I think Lakers, like, if they win a game on the road... If they win a road game, the next day you can get use code Lakers win or whatever, and you can get 25 percent off your next order or something like that. On a, I think Papa John's did it for a number of years, and I think Wingstop did it for a number of years too. There you go. Wow, Freddie Freeman, three hits tonight. Jeez. Jack and running these promos, so yeah, people subconsciously think of them when they have some beverages or some other substances, right? When the late night munchies happen, all these little Jack in the Box promos they're, they're doing, they know what they're doing. They know. HVAC Tips is asking who's down for the football mix. I am. I'm down for the football mixer. So is. Who's in the football mixer already? So is Kaim. Lorenzo's already in it. Jason, Julian, Aaron, Allen. We got Jason, Jared, Jason, Jared, Kevin, and Steven in the filler for the football mixer. We got to do a couple of those. And then we're in Braceville. HVAC would get two. HVAC, do you have HVAC tip for us today, by the way? You know, maybe if we sell out the break, we'll get some free tips. How about that? Let's sell out the football break. Let's get some free HVAC tips. JaskysCaseBreaks.com. We still got a little ways to go on this break. Maybe another half an hour or so, but while I'm doing this, get some spots in that. While we're breaking this, you can get into that. While we're breaking this, you get into that. Not Yancy Almonte. Why does Dave Roberts want? Does Dave Roberts wants to lose this game. And we got a James Alman autograph. Nice for my Dodgers. Dodger Joe Mojo, Jervon Gates with that one. There you go, Gates. Got some good flow there. Decent autograph, good pen, okay penmanship. Solid player. Ooh, did Freddy get picked off?
So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get into the football mixer, there's some full spots left, and we got to work on two fillers to give away the remaining spots. If the full spots move uh, faster than the filler, then we could cancel a filler and add more full spots back in. That could work too. Here's J.P. Crawford, 004 out of 199. A little color match for the Mariners, Michael. Ah, oh, Freddie Freeman picked off. There goes his MVP odds. Nice, Richard. Thank you. Appreciate it. You should get an order confirmation in your email. Make sure you look out for that. That's how you know you got guaranteed spots. That you've locked in your spots, that is. But remember, we've got full spots to go. We've got two fillers to work on as well. We've got plenty of time to do it tonight. So if you want to do it, get into it now, and we can make that happen tonight. Be, after all this baseball, doing a little NFL might be, uh, would be a nice little change of pace. All right, halfway through this break, half an hour to go, six more boxes to go, six more autos to go, plenty of parallels to go. Will, I see, will we see a taco fracker? Will we see a one of one, a super fract? That'd be nice. We want tacos. No one else has fast food promos to share in relation to their professional teams? Yeah, I mean, it won't be too long before, before uh, both baseball and football will be hot commodities. That's a good part of the year. Good part of the sports calendar. September. You get the final push for the playoffs in baseball. Playoffs in October. So baseball will still be hot. And then NFL collecting really starts to heat up. Once people start seeing preseason games happen, once people start seeing when people's fantasy drafts get set, once week one gets underway, you know, I mean, NT football is coming out tomorrow as well. Now, remember, that football mixer that Richard's talking about is part of tonight's promo where you can win a lot of break credit. Top three at $1,000 of break credit each, which would go a long way to buying some teams at NT football for tomorrow. So let's work on that. Let's get her done. And we got Michael Massey. DY with the Royals. Alex Bregman to 399 for the Strohs. That'll be for Zach. Michael Massey, black and white, or uh, prison, photo negative, that is, not black and white, photo negative parallel for DY and the Royals. Well. 
Nice Acuna Jr. Technicolor. Another box. And there's Spencer Steer, autograph. Reds, Josh with the red legs. He's been having a solid season. Saw another Acuna Jr. base and a Spencer Steer prism for Josh. There's a Nolan Gorman prism. That'll be for the Cardinals, Ryan with the Cardinals. And we got Christopher Morell. Blue sonar to 125. That'll be for the Cubs. Ed P with the Cubbies. You got Rosario to 350 for the Padres, Yoshida, Freeman Refractor, possible chance at an MVP for that MVP buyback. Why don't they do a Cy Young buyback? You think they should start doing that? I feel like hitters usually get all the love hobby-wise, right? Probably boost the, uh, the pitching market for the hobby a little bit. You know, maybe the buyback pro maybe wouldn't be as much, but it'd still be something. Now, I'm fairly certain that that Garrett Cole, I think, is still the favorite for AL Cy Young. I guess Framber Valdez is a, is a bit behind him, odds-wise. In the NL, I think it's a little bit closer in the NL. Zach Allen, Spencer Strider. I guess maybe the, those two guys. Blake Snell might have an outside chance at that. Odds, at least according to Vegas odds. What if there was like a Cy Young buyback program? 
be kind of cool. Dan was saying the next Chrome Jumbo case down to 11. We got time to do that tonight. We would have to fill that by, well, we'd have to fill that within an hour if we want to get that in the, on the books tonight. At the latest. Obviously, we could fill it sooner than that too. Rodriguez, Purple Chrome, 250. Mariners have been playing some hot baseball lately. And uh, they're leading the Padres 2-0 tonight. Middle of the eighth, going into the bottom of the eighth in Seattle. There's Bryce Harper to 150. Blue Chrome for the Phillies, Mallory. Behind Von Herrera is Jermaine Palacios for Larry and the Tigers. Tiger uppercut. Next box, three to go, almost there. I'm dragging a little bit here towards the end on this one, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Angels, what are you doing? Top of the eighth. Angels are only leading by a run. I think they were up, what, 4 nothing early on? 
maybe in the middle of the fourth inning or something like that, top of the eighth. HVAC, we get two more spots. Do we break it? No. Remember, we got those two fillers to knock out. We gotta do those giveaway breaks. If you look at the mixer and look right next to it, there'll be something that says, you know, six or seven mixer spot giveaway or something like that in the title. We gotta do two of those. But if you buy those two last spots, I could cancel one of those fillers, add some full spots back in, and make the current filler the last filler. And that gives us better odds to get that done tonight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Remember, remember all, all the, uh, you know, not every case is going to be a banger, right? It's just statistically, just can't happen. So when we, when we go through, you know, a less than stellar case, ooh, nice Rushman to 75. When we go through that, you know, a lot of people kind of hang their head and go, man, Never again. But the sharp collectors will be like, well, we got that out. We got a, not a good case out of the way. Kenny with the O's. So it gives us better odds that the next case will be, will be better. You know, with, with each, with each uh, not so good case we see, we're, we're getting closer to a good case. It's only a finite amount of cases, right? Especially with a product like Topps Chrome. <laughs> right, yeah, hey, that's, that's, that's my attitude. That's why I try to convince people. You gotta play to win, right? Don't hang your head after a bad break. You know, you gotta think, well, the bad one's out of the way. Better odds that the next one is going to be better than the one before. That's usually the case. 45 out of 50, Oswald Peraza. Gold wave autograph for the Yankees, Jose. It's especially with pick your team, especially with like that NT coming out tomorrow. Speaking of breaking strategy, <clears throat> I've seen people buy the same team like three breaks in a row. And then they end up going, ah, shoot, forget it. I'll pass on the fourth break. But guess what? That's, that's when that hit pops. You know? I mean, if you're just kind of shooting, uh, you know, just a single shot and, and you're just playing it that way, that's fine. But if you're already like three or four teams in on a pick your team for three different, three or four different breaks of, of for example, NT, like tomorrow, hey, at this point, buy the fourth and the fifth team if the first three weren't very good because that's usually when a break like that, a product like that will smack in the face and be like, yeah, you should have bought that, that X out team just one more time. I know it's pricey, so it's kind of a hard strategy to, to really be disciplined on, but it's usually the way to do it. NT generally has a giant checklist too, so very possible that the big hits could be in the very next case. There could be nothing for teams in the first three breaks, and then all of a sudden, everything in the next case. <coughs> See, up, that's, excuse me, that's the ups and downs of group breaks, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, that's what Gretzky said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's the kind of mentality we try to try to carve out here. I know it's hard. You know, when you have a bad day on some groove breaks, it's hard to kind of be excited about just trying again, getting back into it. But but we try to cultivate positive attitudes here. We've seen this happen with sports teams. The second one person hangs his head or her head, and then that the next person's hanging their head, and the next person's hanging their head. 
then all of a sudden you're losing a ball game that you were leading in or you're never coming back from a game you know but the teams that can come back from 10 runs down or something like that be able to win in the end teams that are getting football teams getting blown out in the first half how do some of those come back and win but mentality it's staying within your budget being knowledgeable about the checklist, being smart about how you're playing things, obviously all that counts right there. You know, so. Come on, Rex. Family show. I also think consistency is important too. You know, I think too many people like put all their eggs in one basket in one break and then it doesn't go well and they're like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> you know, know your, diversify your portfolio. You got to protect your neck. You know, get a few spots in a lot of breaks. You know, there's Alex Bregman to 399. Yes, even even at this point at night, Rex. You gotta be more, or <laughs> just be more subtle than that. Ooh, look at this, Sammy Sosa, All Star, Ultraviolet All Stars Green to ninety nine. That's Ed P and the Cubs. Nice. I like that green border right there too. Nice. And Ezekiel Tovar, rookie autograph for the Rocks. That's going to be for John. You so sad, just so so. Why is that? There's Francisco Alvarez, Prism, Mets, Scott. Paul Goldschmidt, photo negative. Bobby Wood Jr., nice. Game used material. Royals, DY. Final box, 24th box coming up. We made it. Thanks everybody. We're at the hour 54 mark. So this will be just a little over two hours. That's about not the time I anticipated here. We're gonna do a recap after this. So keep an eye out for that. We'll uh, upload the video. And then we'll go through some orders and we'll see, we'll see what else we can get into. Good luck. 24th box. Yeah, it'd be nice to pivot to something a little different, right? Maybe some NFL. Maybe that football mixer after this. We have two hours left in the show, so we don't have an infinite amount of time. In fact, we're in the fourth quarter of the show. We're running out of time. So if you want to get some more breaks done, spots have got to start moving right now. Not after the break. Not when break, not when a break starts to get close or whatever. No, it has to start now. Otherwise, 
Otherwise, where the momentum is going to happen too late. We'll fall short. Time will be up on the show. We'll have to do this tomorrow. We don't want to wait till tomorrow. I'd rather do it tonight. Right, yeah, hit the buy button, says H back. Take a risk, get a banger. Absolutely. Think about what what's the best that can happen. Everyone always thinks what's the worst that can happen. What's the best that can happen? It's George Springer. Purple speckle to 250 for the bluebirds. That's gonna be for DY. I thought this might be might be number. There's Shay Langoliers. It's Ken Wallachick. To 199. Aqua Lava. I mean, if he sells that breakout dunk, we might have to put him on the payroll. No, I mean, you should be encouraged, you know, by HVAC, Richard being as excited as he is about the break. Listen. You know me, ABC, always be closed. I'm, I'm always going to talk up a break. That's my job, right? You know, if you're on the fence about a break, don't listen to me. Listen to the people who are advocating for the break. There's Marcus Wilson, last break, 24th auto of the case break, 156 out of 499. That's for the M's. That'll be for Michael. Michael with Marcus. Any other parallels to close things out? Got another Adley Rushman, Drew Waters Refractor, and that is that. We made it. 24 boxes of Topps Chrome Hobby in the books. Let's do a quick recap. Now, there's tons of numbered cards, tons of base rookies, all that good stuff. All that's going to be top loaded and shipped by our sorting and shipping team. They do an amazing job. First case, some nice stuff. The Orange Wave. Giancarlo Relic, Corbin Carroll Prism, the Tatis Jr. Printing Plate, that got a train whistle, the Aaron Judge variation was awesome, the Acuna Jr. Prism, like seeing that gold image variation right there as well. That was the first case. The second case, what you just witnessed, and you got the Sammy Sosa Ultraviolet. We got Adley Rushman to 75. Got a James Altman. We got a Bryce Harper image variation, Corbin Carroll refractor, Otani Prism, Adley Rushman refractor. Lot of great stuff, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for getting into that doubleheader. 24 box of Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time Whew, for the next one. Bye-bye.